good afternoon. My name is Longest Literature, and I would like to do focus myself um, today on um, another lesson uh, in creating the right mindset. Uh, it's just about a very important set of skills, and this is about um, the mindset of people who are really successful and are actually focusing on being positive instead of being negative. Uh, so what actually extraordinary people see in the same situation, you know, they can see possibility to other people who are very negative, they see obstacles. I just finished actually watching um, Steve Jobs' biography and, um, and I'm, I'm very speechless really um, because this guy completely changed the way current job current world is. He completely actually changed the game in terms of um technology. Um he he created um Macintosh computers, he created iPhones, iTunes, iPads and um but it's not about this only. This is a very, very important thing that people probably will associate our, um, Steve Jobs. But the most important thing which, come, which came so clear from that video is the fact that he had this vision, he had this dream, he had this passion and determination in his heart and in his life. And the thing which he was always repeating was, follow your heart, you know, follow your passion and find this passion and do everything what it takes to get yourself to the next level. And he faced in his life, you know, a few moments of bankruptcy, he did, lost everything, but he was this person he, who had his um, billion of mind, not only a million of mind, he had a billion of mind, so he knew the road to get him where he wanted to be, and he was ready to pay the price. He came from extraordinary um, humble background, but he had this incredible determination, incredible talent, and what he did with this he multiplied his talent a um, hundred million billion times. So in order now, every person can have access to extraordinary technology and we can use it. And I'm so proud for the fact we are having this technology right now and we can use this, you know, to create extraordinary results. And sometimes people, what they do, they just try to excuse themselves and say, no, I can't do it. Um, you know, you need to change the way you're thinking. Because if you're alive, everything is possible. And your job, your mission is still not finished. So um, I want you just to focus on this. I want you just to think about opportunities instead of obstacles and turn your life uh, in something extraordinary protective, in something which is so good for you and for other people. You must think about yourself as extraordinary lucky, lucky person because you are. You are so lucky. You are so extraordinary. And you've got a lot of talent and you need to use them. Steve Jobs is an incredible example of somebody who had talent and he did multiply them by billions. I want to think about billions must be talent because you know we've got seven billions of people on the app at the moment and probably um, one billion of people probably using is using uh, his product. This is what I'm saying a billion times. And this is the thing what uh, actually
the um, finishing point. No, for him, this was the motivation. Uh, the only thing which stopped him was his cancer, his uh, medical condition, which actually shut his life uh, in 2011. But he loved his job. He loved his job. He loved his family. He uh, loved his. He loved his life, and he completely devoted his life to his biggest ever passion, biggest dream, and he paid the price for it. And this is the thing that we need to realize. Nothing comes easy in life. Nothing comes for free. You need to realize what is your passion. And this is not your fault. You need to remember this. This is not your fault, for example, just to be born poor. But this is actually your fault if you actually die poor. You've got all abilities in life to get this much material things, to get all of these things that we need to, to be financially um, independent, to live life in abundance. You know, this guy, oh my, you know, Steve Jobs had such a terrible life, childhood, and the thing that he did in his life is incredible. Because he had determination, he had the vision, he had a talent, but he had this passion. He had this passion in yourself, which you can't buy for any money in life in the world. So what I'm actually wishing you today uh, is just to find your love. To find your love, whatever it is. If it's a music, if it's a technology, if it's a reading book, if it's a writing blog, if it's selling just find your passion, find your love and go for it. Okay? And don't be afraid to pay the price for it. Do what it takes to get you to the next level. And when you're listening to this page from Harvard of Steve Jobs, if you never did, go find yourself on YouTube and you listen to it. You will be crying. I cried so many times, I too I cried so many times because this is the way you should live your life in full. Pay the price in full and live your life in full. So today, the message from um, Secret of the Million in Mind is: rich people see see opportunities. Poor people see obstacles. And this is accept to you. What are you going to see in a particular moment? Okay? Some people will see opportunities, some people will see obstacles. It's accept to you what you see and what are you going to do with this. And I did focus myself in this very short video today uh, on Steve Jobs because for me Steve Jobs is icon in terms of building business in terms of achieving the goal. He had everything on the earth to stop him from achieving what he achieved. But he had his passion, he had his vision, he had his love, which actually turned him to be one of the most iconic, legendary and life transforming person on the earth. So I want to, to leave you with this and think about it. And I would like to encourage you to listen to his speech from Har Har Harvard um, because it is life transforming. So thank you so much for your time. God bless, take care and take your life into your hands and just do the best. The best of what you can do and who you can be alright. Good bless, take care, bye bye.